In this lesson, we introduce you to the elements of graphs. The two elements of a graph are nodes, also known as vertices, and relationships, also known as edges. Nodes are the circles in a graph and typically represent objects, entities, or things. Recall that in the previous lesson, the land masses in the bridges of Konigsberg were represented by nodes. Another example that everyone can relate to is the concept of a social graph. People interact with each other and form relationships of varying strengths. Here we see two nodes that represent two people, Michael and Sarah. You can see that entities that could be represented as nodes are things like people, products, events, books, or subway stations. On their own, these elements are uninspiring. But when we start to connect these circles together, things start to get interesting. Relationships, or edges, are used to connect nodes. We can use relationships to describe how nodes are connected to each other. For example, Michael has the works at relationship to Graph Inc. because he works there. And Michael has the married to a relationship to Sarah because he is married to her. All of a sudden, we know that we are looking at the beginnings of some sort of social graph. Now let's introduce a third person, Hans, to our graph. Hans also works for Graph Inc. along with Michael. Depending on the size of the company and the properties of the relationship, we may be able to infer that Michael and Hans know each other. If that is the case, how likely is it that Sarah and Hans know each other? Examples of relationships include things like a person knows a person, a person owns a car, a person rated a movie, a person is the parent of another person. This completes our look at an introduction to the elements of graphs.